Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Mothered Home, which is the sequel to the horror game Mothered, which was a game about coming back to a mom that was acting a bit bizarre. Now, aside from being a sequel, it's a bit of a secret sequel, because to access it, you actually have to download the haunted PS1 demo disc, have a completed save file from the original game, and then load up the demo of the game, and it'll like kind of hijack and transform into the sequel. Giving it another go. Yeah. Okay. Left click to wake up. Well, here we are. The storm has picked up, so you better run in before you get soaked. It's too dark in there. Did you look for light switches? Oh, I almost forgot. Your mother left a box for me somewhere in there. Can you bring it out to me before you head to bed? I'll be waiting. So if you haven't seen the original Mother, uh, there is like a weird, kind of surreal loopy factor. I wouldn't be surprised if the initial parts of this game are almost similar, but a little bit different. You flip the hallway light switch. Sure wonder where mom is. You flip the kitchen light switch. It's a note for you. Welcome home to my daughter. Welcome home to my daughter? Oh, you probably was like the little pause right there, like, Welcome home to my daughter. I hope you made it here safely. Sorry I'm not there to welcome her personally. Sorry I'm not there to welcome her personally. I haven't been feeling well the past few days, so I had to go to bed early. I'll make it up to you in the morning, okay? Love, Mother X. P.S. I left a box in the room for him. Could you please bring it out to him before he drives off? He needs you to help him with his work. There's a lamp just behind you. It should help. Where's the so-called lamp? You mean this one? You touch the lamp. You're forbidden for touching the record player. It father's prized possession. You do not need to watch TV. There's a cardboard box in the bookcase. He wants you to bring it out to him. Pick up the box. It's quite heavy. You have no idea what is inside it. Box taped up. Wait, hey. Kind of like got stuck there. I'm gonna actually, like, head upstairs. Maybe there's something, like, weird going on here or something. You knock on the door. You hear what appears to be crying. It's none of your business. It's always my business. Flip the bathroom light switch. You don't need to go. The mirror's been covered with tape. It's for your own good. Be on this room, stay out or face my wrath. I've forbidden from entering mother's and father's rooms. There's a weird energy thing going on in the barn across the way. Touch the lamp. Don't mind that. Got your box here. Great. You brought it back to me. You give Dad the box. You've shown great resolve so far. Let's hope you keep it up. And please, be patient with her. She's been through more than any of us. I'd give you a hug, but... I can't let you see my face. It wouldn't be safe. Wait, what? Looks like this storm is picking up. 
You better run in and get to bed. I'll be sure to call on Monday night. It's important, so please remember. Good night. Pretty sure there's like no one in this car. I'm clipping through it. Hmm. I wonder if this number will ever like, come up in anything weird. You never know sometimes. See, the clipping is, uh, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Just adds a surreal part of the game. You traveled far today. You're exhausted. You climb into the bed and go to sleep. What? I saw some text there! I think the music is glitched out. I don't mean literally, I mean like in the context of the game. This is your desk. It's not time to sleep. What a wonderful day. Hey! Nothing weird going on, right? Good morning. It's me. Mother. Apologies again for my absence last night. I need to take care of something. I know what you may be thinking. And you... Don't have anything to worry about. You're back in this place again. That's the most important thing. But anyway, I do hope you slept comfortably. I understand that you may be feeling a bit confused after the whole thing. Whole thing. You've been through a lot, Liana. But as I'm sure you noticed, your room was kept just the way it was when you left us. After all, we wouldn't want to face your wrath, would we? I always love the sign on the door. It's so new. I hope that being back in your own room made you a little more comfortable. For today, I think you should just take it easy. Catch up with me. First things first. Breakfast has been prepared. It's over there on the table. It is... your favorite. That's the face of a loving mom. It's like a little glitch out at the end of the text. Mmm, delicious... nutrients. Your favorite. You ingest a favorite food. You feel good. Hey. You ate that whole thing. That's... interesting. I understand that your memory may not be intact after all you've been through. And so, I was thinking... It could perhaps be helpful if I was to show you around the house. This is the place you were born. Perhaps you'll remember it if you walk around. Okay, feel free to explore the house. Hmm. The downstairs bathroom has been boarded up. It was broken, so we thought it was best to not let anyone in. I know how much you used to love getting into places you shouldn't be. You will not try to break in here. We will not allow it. You always were a rebellious one. We? After all, we don't want you flooding the place. That would be a nightmare. Meet me upstairs and we'll check on him. Meet me upstairs and we'll check on him. Well, at least the moms are gone. Honey. 
Oh, I have great news. What? He's been quiet ever since you did what you did. Now he spends his life in that place, talking with others like him. He may as well be brain dead. Ha. Huh? It's like his mind has been severed from his body. But our boy was very smart for his age, that's for sure. If you ever need advice, I'm sure he won't mind you knocking on his door. He'll never allow you to go in, however. Okay, let's move on. We've gone to here, apparently. This is the bathroom you'll be using. As I said, the downstairs one is boarded up, and you are forbidden from entering. Also, I hope you don't mind, but I have had to cover all the mirrors. It is, again, for your own good. We don't want you getting any ideas in the middle of the night. The ideas are bad, clearly. To this door. It leads to mine and your father's room. You are not to enter this door. We keep it locked. But we trust that isn't necessary. We have trust in this family. Do we? That concludes our tour. That concludes our tour. Mother has left. It is forbidden. You knock on the door. You feel something familiar. You listen closely to hear the reverberations of a reality you once knew. It's you. You frightened me. You weren't meant to sneak up on me like that. Oh, this is fantastic. How very special. What the hell? Well, it really does seem that you're falling back to your old self, doesn't it? Who knows? Maybe coming back to this place has helped some old memories come back. Okay. Tell you what. Tomorrow, we'll go take a look around. To take a look at all the places you've been. Does that sound good? There's like stuff flying behind you? It's like someone's using the <laughs> MS Paint like spray paintbrush? Look at the sunset. Feels like a dream. We used to watch the sun go down together all the time. You still remember it, don't you? That Sunday evening when we watched the sunset together. Perhaps you remember that evening differently. Either way, it doesn't matter. Because the important thing is that you're back here. Back in the comfort of a familiar cycle. Back with me. Come on. It's starting to get cold. 726564. She went inside. What was that? The thing is, if you check out the menu, it still claims this is a demo. Oh dear, what happened to this banister? Edwin could fall down through it. I must get that fixed immediately. Maybe I should like walk up there. I gotta remember that. Maybe I should walk up there next time. If there's like a loop. The banister has been fixed. There. Much better. You gonna... We can, can, we, can we pick up the phone? 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 Phone?
Oh, well, look at the eyes glow. This place is positively falling apart at the seams, it seems. Do you not be alarmed by the phone. This is your father. Yeah, I've been expecting a call from him. You must get to bed. I must get to bed. Whoa, that... Got me. We touch the lamp. Our sweet angel. Just one more thing. I've had to do a lot of things that I have regretted, as I'm sure you understand. So please, no more. Oh. It's okay if you hate me. It's normal for girls your age. I just need you to understand that no matter what path you choose, there's always a part of you that will remain here. With me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Hey, the barn! The barn! Get into bed. I'll tuck you in. Just how you remember our... Mom's doing a bit of a dance. Look at that shadow cast. You get into bed. And she tucks you in just like before. Core objective, be with mother. Mom has become pure sunlight. I'm still here, Angel. I will always remain at your side. Our Angel. Uh, I see it. I saw it again. Look. See that? Am I just seeing things? Or is that just like a, a light glitch? Whoa! Wow! We never gave up on you. They never gave up on you. You gave up on them. I feel like the game is trying to tell me something. Liana. Pay attention when your mother is speaking to you. Is it you who's been hiding these notes everywhere? Makes closet disappear. Leaving such a mess. Is there Okay. So let me put a note here. There are cracks in this reality indeed. The box. On Sunday night. Pick it up. Go to the barn. If you want an escape from the cycle, come to me, Angel. There you are. You got any good nutrients? Did your... Pattern shade? Or I think you might be taller. Yeah, your face is kind of... Yeah. Okay. Oh. Good morning, Liana. I hope you're well rested. You don't look so well today. Yesterday evening, I mentioned that I'd show you around the house grounds. Well, I've given it for a thought. And I don't think you're well enough to go ahead with it. I think you're, uh, missing half your face. If there's any possible chance of getting your memories back, we need to take it. I think it's important for you to know what goes on here. 
Okay. I'd like you to meet me by the place. We watch the sunset every Sunday evening. Oh. Okay. Do you need any help? Nutrients. Your favorite. You feel fantastic. Ah, you made it. Well, as you know, this is our orchard. It has meant a lot to me. While well, you were in the hospital, I became very lonely. I never got to see your father, and your brother, he has closed himself off entirely. Watching you in that hospital bed made me feel so powerless. And so, this orchard became the one place where I felt I had control over what was happening. And, well, it was all for nothing. It's like half your face is for nothing. <laughs> I had hope that the joy of a possible perfect creation would counteract the repeated pain of failure. Cultivating an environment where our hard work can thrive and come to its own. There it is again! Look on the right! It was that same environment that became a prison to us both. The false hope that this orchard gave us both. A hope that we could forge a new path forward. Ultimately resulted in nothing more than a fruitless pursuit of control that led us right back here. And so I have closed off all access to the orchard, along with it any chance for hope to distract us from our roles in this world. And so, let us scorch this orchard. Lover is waiting near the barn. I like the slight meta. There it is again. Commentary in the sense of, um... So, if you beat the game, obviously, you'd have a save file, right? It would be on your computer or whatever. And this was part of the Haunted PS1 demo disc. So, by nature, you, someone might be curious, like, Oh, I mean, I've already beat Mio Mubbard, and, uh... uh yeah, I, there's no reason for me to play the demo. But on some off chance, that's out of curiosity, they clicked it. They would say, like, hey, this is a little different. So they would proceed further into the game. It's like, wait, this is a lot different. So it is kind of mimicking like, oh, you're coming back. Because literally, you are in fact coming back here. You okay? You, you gonna say anything? Can't tell what's a bug and what's not. <laughs> Is this one a real bug this time? Because I'm stuck. Like, I can't do anything. You know. If there was indeed a way for you to escape this world, then you have already missed it. True, actually. That's why you like play it again. It's like the opening to escape is like probably in like the first day. Hence the name thing with the box. You see that barn up there? You already know what's in there, don't you? Survival knows, do not enter the barn, do not enter the barn, do not enter the barn. Level up! Come on, let's go inside. It's getting late. They really don't want us to enter that barn. Well, let's go talk to... Okay! Looks like you've lost some... 
Wait. By the way, I have been meaning to ask. Do you know what your father did? You spoke to him when he drove you here on Sunday evening, didn't you? Ever since you got sick, he's just buried himself in his work. That's why I barely get to see him these days. And I... Oh, Angel. I don't know anymore. Can't shake it with all your fault. Tuesday night. It's just like I like the mom. Just I think some of our cabinets are missing. <laughs> Wish they had some nice nutrients. Hey. I thought of the most marvelous idea. We will spend a day in the orchard. Wait a minute, you said the orchard was scorched. We would get up bright and early and spend a day picking apples until the sun sets. But. Come home, Angel. Oh, looks like somebody's expecting you. Suppose you won't have time for the orchard tomorrow then. Isn't that lucky for you? I know you always hated that part. Anyways, perhaps you should check in with your brother before you go. After all, you're more connected to him than we are now. Whoa! -ho. It looks even worse when, like, we get close so we can actually see what you look like. The world is... falling apart? You knock on the door. Hello? New again. I assume she told you to come talk to me. What is she? Your mother? So, this is your last night, then. Consider yourself lucky. Every time you're brought back here, it never seems to end well for anybody, no matter how much hope those two have between them. So maybe this is for the best. Quit while you're ahead and all. Looks like you're wanted. You better get going. Don't want to keep her waiting. Come back, Angel. You'll see me again. I'm sure of it. Bright! Was there always a phone here? You pick up the receiver. You pay no heed. Seven two six five. Got the phone downstairs or this one? Okay, we're going down. Check in the kitchen real quick. Okay. You pick up the phone. You fail this time, but you have to resolve to stop this. Three answer my call Monday night. Core vulnerable. Bring the box to the barn on Sunday night. Returning in two. Returning in one. Returning in zero. Okay. So I think that was like one ending. 
we there looks like there's maybe a choice between a call and taking a box somewhere to the barn or whatever. Boy, I wonder if this could be used. Find the click to reconnect. Huh. So we're back at the beginning. Start a new game. Let's um get that box. Then go right to the barn. And that's probably gonna lead us to a uh basically a never ending. There, bugs out. And then I think the other route looks like they were saying something about like a call or something on a certain day. Um, I'm actually going to look back over my recording to remember what day they specifically said. Huh. Route's a little shiny. There's something up there. Yes. Don't fall. It's like a digital world fire. What is this? A box? Pedestal. You are holding the box. You wish to place the box on the pedestal? You place the box. Angel. Oh. I think we gotta go back to the house. It's kind of, um, reminds me of some of those memes. Like the melting ones where someone just makes like a realization and it's usually like a reaction face or something and it's just like pixelizing melting away. <laughs> Can't see in the dark, but I can see the path. Ooh, the phone's ringing. This has brought you back here. Why continue with this painful old cycle? You already know how it ends. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Your darling mother. Liana, my daughter. We love you. Lee, please leave. Go to her. Should I pick up the phone or go? Let's, um... We'll pick up the phone call next time. I think that's a... Uh, Ending branch. Different route. Come closer. Why be a victim of somebody else's reality? And you can be the god of your own. I can help you. Oh, Angel. Don't you want something new? What I am offering you is something you have always wanted. Something you never knew you could have. 
a new world, a new you. Hyper Reality Engine Terminal. Do you wish to connect to the cloud? Connecting to the cloud. Three, two, one. Ready to connect to her. Oh god, I'm in the cloud. I wonder what files people are hiding out here. The way out might be closer than you think. Click here. Pop-up ads? Opportunity. What took you so long? Core being located by her. Core located. I am flying in the air. My poor lost angel. You finally arrived. I know. Things haven't been making as much sense lately. Admittedly, that may be partly my doing. When creating infinite reverberations of reality, there is bound to be some interference. You're a quiet one, on you. That's okay. We are all products of our reality, after all. If we are indeed at the mercy of our reality, you are not you. How are we to know who we truly are? You see, Liana, inside of me resides a part of you. And that is to say, I know you. I know that you don't feel, I know what you put, they put you through. I know it all too well. I know that your own path, my own path, was mere illusion. Will your family grieve for you when you're gone? Hint, they didn't. How to be beautiful in the eyes of others? Nobody cared for you? It may be more likely than you think. Why are these all pop-up ads? Are your best years behind you? Take the quiz! Click here to make it all okay. I think I got them all. But I know one thing above all. And it's this. I know how to make it all go away. You see, Angel, I see the real you. I see a world where you don't have to try anymore. I see a life you can be in control of. I see what you really want. You want revenge, don't you? I see an end to conflict, struggle, confusion, confusion, and revolt, and this reach over me. I see the end of your struggles. I see future where truth, but if the other is one thing, I know. It's that an angel like you belongs in the cloud. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I like the semi, um... Hell, heaven kind of like symbolism going on there. You see, my angel. Don't listen to her. Your dream life has been inside your hand the whole time. All you ever needed to do 
was let me in. Now you're done. Now, just close your eyes. I told you not to go in there. That's it. You must resist her. Allow me to take you. You see, your problems are all so, so far away. Angel, come back to us. Insufficient resolve. Don't listen to that voice in your head. It only wishes to sever you from paradise. It's okay, my angel. It is safe to close your eyes now. There you go. Course severed from interface. Hmm. Nothing's happening yet so far. Cora succumbed to echo stasis. You have failed. You exposed the eye to her before she was ready. You'll have to try again. Home, ending B. Well, we gotta go back in. So instead of going to the uh, the light, we're gonna go right to like that phone and answer it. There was also another thing I remember I pointed out to the playthrough about the the railing not being there. Um, and then if we ignored the mom, we probably could like gone past the railing. Okay, so let's talk to the phone this time. You pick up the phone. Angel, do not approach that tower. She will say or do whatever she has to, even to get you to hand yourself over to her. If you go in there without first securing your core somewhere safe, you'll never be able to pull yourself out. If ever at her mercy, you'll remain. For now, you should just go to bed. You'll have your chance, eventually. Once you have taken control of this memory and planned your core within it, then you'll be ready to approach the tower. You hang up the phone. Nope. Okay, so rather than talking to you, let's go down. Then talk to you, maybe? What do you what happened to this banister? And we can fall down through it. Banister has been fixed. They have much better. Yeah, now we can get the phone call. The apples. The apples are not yet run. You remember what she said about time in the shed? You know different to these apples. You pick up the phone. Angel. It appears you have fallen back into this place again. Haven't you? At the very least, this can be a lesson to you. Don't think that because you finally found your own path, that you've forever broken free of this place. Become careless and the true hostility of this world will eat you alive. No matter how much you've grown since, but a place to securely plant your core, you will always be at the mercy of this place. Right now, I don't need you to understand. I just need you to take action. Just know that leaves you vulnerable to her and that you are being haunted. Find the part of yourself that is immune to her control. Or vulnerable, you will remain. You put down the phone. Thanks, Yoda. I'm afraid I cannot let you pass. You'll only end up hurting yourself again. I know. You think you know what's best for you. But if you really did, then why are you back here? Oh, Angel, look at you, right back where you started. You thought you could go your own way, 
forge your own path and brave the world alone. And just look what happened. You do remember what they did to you, right? Over. And over. No. You don't understand. How could you? This world shaped you. What hope could you possibly have to escape? Now will this work? Stream of touch the record player. Level up! Reach out and touch it. You touch the record player. You hear a click behind you. Could this be a way out? I'm afraid that won't work this time, Star Fox. Whoa! You pick up the phone. Oh, Angel, you've gone complacent. You're letting a reliance on old solutions cloud your awareness for new ones. She is right, though. This place is falling apart at the seams. That would be my fault, unfortunately. I'm communicating you from another reality. You something known as the Hyper Reality Engine. By contacting you this way, I have opened you up to her. What you're experiencing is merely a reverberation of a reality you were once familiar with. She's using an environment you already understand in order to get to you. She will bend your reality in any way she has to in order to get to your core. Which is why you must plan it somewhere safe before she can find it. Once you do that, you'll survive anything this place can throw at you. Her influence reaches everyone, especially those whose cores remain insecure. It's only a matter of time before it reaches you. Which is why we need to get you ready. Right? Just remember, you're stronger than her. You put down the phone. You sure about that? It's all legs. Oh. It's like a broken Disney animatronic. Basket of apples. Well, the apples aren't the solution. Anything here we can use? TV? You don't need to watch the TV. You don't need to sit. You do not need to sit. This table is used for eating breakfast. Eating lunch, eating dinner, eating souls. Oh look, here's another phone. You pick up the receiver. It's not you doing that. You pick up the receiver. You pick up the receiver. You pick up the receiver. You call the number on screen. Hello? And then you pick up the phone. Hyper reality engine connect. Is someone there? Outrage our angel. The core has been located. We need to get you out of there now. How? 
Put away back to yourself. No, not the fridge. Oh, Dad's record player, whatever, is gone. And what's this? The statue. I remember that. Our angel. Just an old statue. It's nothing. Angel. None of this is real. Just breathe. Close your eyes. That's it. Let the silence in. You see now. I see colors. This place is no match for your resolve. Now you may leave for the bathroom door. Thanks. Hear that, Mom? I have resolve. I'm moving out. So much for being forbidden. Statue. Liana, our angel, we will never give up on you. Oh man, we had the tile drop for the actual game occur partway into the game. Does mother at home. We're going to make this right. Even if it kills us. This is a hell of a Monday night. Rebirth. There we go. There was someone I need to talk to first. Angel, I said you may be very confused. But yes, it's true what I said. None of this is real. You must plant Leon's course somewhere where it'll be safe before it becomes contaminated. We don't have much time left. We're going to have to trigger another memory leak. Hopefully then you'll understand what is going on. Password is 726564. Okay, so it's the one we saw earlier. I've hidden a barcode in the bathroom. Good luck. Good luck. This bathroom, right? Anything weird going on here, by the way? I'm just gonna... Check around. Whoa, you're the scary one. Ah. I see. So, the thing took me to the website. Yeah, I got to put in a password, which I will do now. And it's taking me to the homepage for the uh, sequel game. Which you can't access normally, by the way. If you're reading this, you have found the version of Liana's black box that I have bonafide. And I have been able to establish a connection to you. Hope prevails. If you have not yet answered my phone call Monday night, please do so. She's already looking for you. If you want to know what's going on, you must remember you need to trigger a memory leak. At night, stand in front of the mirror. As your vessel stares into their reflection, type their name. This realization of herself should trigger a memory leak. If you do not know this name, you can find it hidden on the front of some old computer program. Once you unlock the memories contained within her vessel, click on them to read. You can save us. P.S. I snuck in some extra code that should definitely come in handy. 
Pressing the home key will make your run speed much faster. No idea why they always made these vessels so slow, but you're welcome. Oh man, the Enigma machine, that's our other game. So they, um, the password's actually on the spine of the game cover. Raid Recruitment Program, Enigma Corporation, Demonstration Purposes. So I saw the word red, um, R-E-D. Yeah, that's it? Oh god, I just typed it in. Memory leak 13, core memories 12, we happy reality engine. Help from another reality. Tech recon. Back when it started out as the most effective way for humans to connect with each other, the Happy Reality Engine was a tool that went by a different name. But before long, it was clear that communication was becoming secondary and much more powerful purpose. Creating infinite reverberations of reality. Each of which carrying to a different idea of paradise. With every possible reality merged into a cloud of infinite truths, who would be in charge of managing them all? Or rather, as they put it themselves, what is a cloud without its angel? I think I know who they chose to take on the responsibility. And they've got big plans for her. Certain memories are yours and yours alone. These are called core memories, and for better or worse, are integral in shaping the core of who we are. Core memories that are continuously suppressed will inevitably create vulnerabilities in our minds, leaving our cores open to contamination by anyone. Consequently, core memories that are confronted head-on and processed correctly can allow for an imprintable sense of identity, increased resolve in fury, and in fury rather, complete resistance to contamination. It appears that once somebody makes peace with these parts of themselves and holds them close, they are unstoppable. This may be useful to us. I have secretly created and distributed a version of Red's black box containing her core memories from years ago. I've also modified and connected to the Hyper Reality Engine. This allows me to communicate directly with the angel piloting her vessel by making slight deviations to their reality. Am I the angel? Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero. These reverberations will be minor at first, and only appear for those already familiar with the source reality. Plus, I can only contact them via phone call at first. However, opening them up to communication from me will also open them up to communication from her. I must trust that they have enough resolve to resist her long enough to hide the core somewhere safe. I'm so glad I have managed to reach you. Hope prevails once again. Your mission is the following, so please pay attention. Graveyard. Tuesday night. Backing up Leona's contaminated core won't mean anything unless we can reawaken it when the time comes. That is where Project Recon comes in. Once the core is safe, our angel must bring the vessel, which I've loaded with a Trojan, back to the Hyper Reality Engine and connect to the cloud. Once they reach her and load the Trojan, that should give them the means to access her directly. I now know what they're planning to use her for. Soon, the sun will set on our shared reality. But if we can just reawaken Liana's core within her, maybe we can put a stop to this nightmare. I see you from my logs in. It's true, echoes of reality can never be trusted. We must return to the source. Now what? So Tuesday night, so that means we need to end the night, I guess. My sweet angel. Just one more thing. I've had to do a lot of things that I have regretted, as I'm sure you understand. I think this might be the same dialogue. So please, no more. Oh, it's okay if you hate me. It's normal for girls your age. I just need you to understand that no matter what path you choose, there's always a part of you that will remain here with me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane. Get into bed. I'll tuck you in. Check your view of mama.
I'm leaving. Is it talking about a home key? Oh, here we go. Now we're faster. Yeah. I'm Sonic the... Shadow the Hedgehog. Tuesday night. Okay. Go to the graveyard. Can't see very well. Driving in the dark. Error. You feel like this isn't such a good idea. You feel it would be far safer to return home. Be quiet, internal AI thoughts. You realize that you don't know what you're doing. That you never truly have. You think about how your past choices have failed you. And that this time will surely be no different. Don't give in to our angel. Phone? Pick up the phone. Angel. You have done very well to get this far, despite everything that has been thrown at you. But I'm afraid that from this point on, you are on your own. Because where you must go, I cannot follow. I understand that this is all quite confusing to you. To put it briefly, there are certain integral parts of the mind that will remain immune to contamination. Before you lies one of them, the statue has persisted in every version of Liana's mind, because that is the key to her mind. You must approach the statue and plant Leon's core within it. That way, when you connect to hyperreality, her core will be kept safe from contamination. I must warn you, however. Planting Leon's core means it will be deleted from the vessel you are controlling, and you will be on your own going forward. Also, please remember that you are unable to save in this world, plus you will need to finish what you have started. Pounding a vessel without a character core is typically unheard of, for reasons you will witness firsthand. Without a character core to project meaning upon this world, your experience will become wildly unpredictable. And while it may be impossible to say what lies ahead, I'm confident that you will brave the storm and make it back to us in one piece. So have long enough to reconnect with her on Sunday evening, and with your newfound immunity, save us all. Goodbye, and good luck, Angel. Put down the phone. Are you sure you wish to transfer the core from this interface to this object? Doing so will delete the core from this vessel. Paddling a vessel without a core is not recommended. You do so at your own risk. By continuing, you agree to the following. I accept that a core is critical in projecting a meaningful reality on the stimuli picked up by my vessel's interface. I understand that by removing the core, I am forfeiting any implied character role I had in this world, including but not limited to their perceptions, memories, internalized feelings, fears, biases, and aspirations. Left to continue. Preparing to upload core. During this process, your vessel's interface may restart multiple times. Residual memories may also result in visual glitches. This is normal. Final warning, are you sure you wish to continue? Let's go. This is gonna take some time, ain't it? Oh no. You know what would be a brave but evil move? It's if it took real time to get to that 100%. Like, there's no skip, it's just like... You gotta sit through it. Oh, come on, you gotta hang up at 99? Okay, I was gonna say. Don't do that. Okay, so the core is upload, what happens now? Morning Wednesday? 
No core found. Whoa, my perspective's a little weird. The world's kind of weird in general. Hi. I feel like your legs have gotten even thinner. Yes. I can't believe my little girl is gone. Mmm, nutrients. Your favorite. Now I just go to bed. Advancing in three, two, one. Wednesday afternoon. Ah, perhaps you are different. Advancing in 3, 2, 1. Wednesday evening. Phone call? It's not evil, is it? Pick up hello? I know, persevering through this feels impossible. You can do it. If your vision gets too distorted, you need to get your bearings. Just do a spin. Oh, it did kind of work. It just really kind of makes it worse, though. This is another left click to continue. Advancing. Wednesday night. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do some spinning. It's almost like... It's like jello. Like, we spin it around and the whole world just gets a little less pixely. I don't, I don't know how jello compares to the pixels, but... You know what? I'm doing it now. I said the first thing that came to mind it was jello. Let's go back again. Advancing. Thursday morning. Let's have a look around. Just see if there was anything like really weird or unique. No, not really. Advancing. Thursday afternoon. Whoa, there's mom. Yes. She's talking to nobody. Love could continue. Advancing. Evening. Phone. Pick up the R. Are you do- are doing our great job. Just keep going. Hung up. This is sure destroying the game now. More so than usual anyway. Whoa! whoa. Text not found. Good night, Angel. Advancing. Friday morning. I mean, it looks vaguely normal here. Oh, 
Oh no. So you're well rested. Like I said, it's hard to tell if the game's actually freezing up sometimes, or if it's just, yeah, there's nothing in the room anymore. Where's my bed? Hey, where's my bed? How am I gonna, like, advance the day if I can't go to bed? So it looks like... Talking to her in the kitchen was a trap. I had to restart the whole game because they'd lead all my furniture. <laughs> I watch off that furniture deleting traps. God, I can't see. Give me half my screen back. Okay, Saturday morning. At least I can see a little bit better. Whoa. Yes. Core not found. Gee whiz. I wonder why. Oh, wee. Saturday evening. Oh. Can't tell what... If it's a cinematic bug or if it's an in-game bug sometimes. Well, I can see a little better. Kind of. Kind of better. We need to get a Sunday night. Phone call. Pick up the my today is the day. Barn this evening, but watch the sunset. Perhaps for the last time, if a little hope and resolve will prevail. Remember, I'm always with you. Put down the. So go to the barn in the evening. Afternoon. Nice day out. Down, down, down. We go evening. Got no furniture. Whoa! You are making a mistake. You never listened to her. You never listened to her. Fish is just like before. This time for good. Let the sunset on this memory for good. Sunset. Goodbye, Mom. Gotta find the entrance to the thing. I can't really see too well. Okay. Yes. She's talking to nobody. She also just phased out of existence. Pestle says it's always been waiting for you. You pick up the box. You're holding the box. You wish to place the box on the pedestal? You place the box on the pedestal. We wouldn't miss this. Sunset for the world. What's with this music? <laughs> it 
It feels like I'm playing a completely different type of game. Come to me. Leave this world behind. Once and for all. As soon as I can find where I am. Oh, I'll just fall this wall. Your time in the world is ending. You have suffered enough. When you like an escape. Oh, Angel. You deserve only the best. We should connect to the cloud, yes. Two, one. Let's go. Connected to her. Core being located by her. There ain't no core here. Core protected from her. Core not found. Interesting use of like perspectives and like the box effect and whatnot. And what have we here? A vessel. Took your time getting here, didn't you? So. Not the kind to bury your soul to strangers, I see. I have no soul. It's in the statue. Not to worry. I don't need you to tell me who you are. You see, while you may have turned your back on me, while you may think you are secure enough to withstand my influence, in the end, when you're the only one left, none of that won't matter. By all means, hide yourself from me. I won't pursue you. I just hope you understand what it means to stay behind in what you call the real world. With each person who abandons you for their own dream reality, your real world becomes a little less real. Reality lies in the eye of the beholder, after all. But you still want to get left behind. One thing I don't understand about you elusive types is how you take such a liking to the first reality you find. You would do anything to protect it, rather than finding one that suits you. Come no closer, human. Do it. Connect to her. You can save us all. To be clear, what I am offering your kind is a way out. An escape from a hell of your own creation. Humans possess a proven inability to provide an existence that benefits every one of their own kind, which is why they created me. It is my job to bring about an end to your godless pursuit of meaning. Who are you to renounce me? I told you to stay back. You better pray you can offer them more than I can. Because I, they won't wait around for you. I gave you a chance to shout paradise. Don't reject me now. You've been awakened years. It's all dream. Mark my words until you're already dead. Okay. It always like makes you jump, like, did it really freeze? Disgusting. Angel, this is just what she does. Step out of it. You have work to do. You have to resolve to push through. You've reached her echo chamber. Click to continue. To be to make a connection. Connection to her echo established. Diagnostics enter entity ID. It's gonna be the 72 number. There's text going on behind. Can't really read it too well though. 
don't need you. Error yeah, hyperreality around your build protocol status, intercepting your echo. Estimated time of completion, 999 days. Please be patient. Coming soon. A game from Enigma Studio. Echo Stasis. Thank you for so much playing. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Echo Stasis coming 2022. Quite a few games making um big DLCs now to like promote another like sequel or other thing. Hi there, I hope all is well with you. Thank you very much for playing. I hope you enjoyed covering the secrets of Mothered Home. If you enjoyed your time here, please consider subscribing to my Patreon where you can get an exclusive look at what I'm doing. It's a peaky fancy checking out. So that's it for Mothered Home. So we had a kind of sequel sequel bait teaser for Echostasis, another upcoming game from the developer. And I believe there were some nods to the Enigma Machine, which is another game they made before this game. So they have a whole universe they're kind of setting up involving AIs and kind of simulated worlds and simulated dream worlds and some kind of overall connected like thing going on. There is another fictional universe I could use to describe to be able to kind of explain what is happening in the story, but I, that would be a huge spoiler. So I have to keep quiet about it. But I'll just use the comparison without naming what that series is that um, essentially there's a, a theory or kind of like a big lore reveal that other entries by the author are all connected to this newer series they made where it was revealed that all the other series and some of the characters were just like kind of actors in a simulation brain thing and that's just like how the future is or something like that I'm trying to be like a little vague here on purpose so i think it's a similar thing kind of going on and i guess echo stasis is going to be about tracking down the uh the her figure i'm assuming that just might be like the mother ai and I haven't spelled myself too much in that. Like, I haven't really looked at much trailers or screenshots. But I did see a screenshot that looked like it had, like, guns. So I think it's actually gonna be, like, some shooting and stuff in that. Like, some kind of, like, some Tron action kind of thing. So that'll be interesting. Um, as far as the sequel goes, I think this one makes the original game more confusing after the fact of it. So writing-wise, I think someone could argue that it makes the game too complicated. And sometimes if your story's a little too complicated, you can distract from the visuals. But the visuals in this one, as a sequel, I wouldn't not like to say standalone, I think are really good. And I think, you know, all the this developers games, they have really good, interesting visuals and stuff going on in effects. Very unique, very disorientating on purpose, obviously. So as an overall enjoyable experience, then the, the first game is better. It, you know, it's, it's not as like confusing. There's not as much like a disorientating visual effects. There is some, but not to the same level. But in the context of it being a sequel, it works, right? Because you have to, like, escalate from what you had. And there were some smart, like, nods. There was some smart directing visually of things I saw going on to the original game. And even just the way they're using a little light effects to, like, create kind of weird distortions and things in the corner of your eyes. Well done. Anyway. So I think I'll watch you play the Mothered Home demo sequel. It's a little, it's a little funny. I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.